You already know oh why you are going to go and meet each sound producer you won't go shoot content in this business if you know they make content you know go make money we did lagos yeah i love the city of lagos that's each sound producer yes how far now you don't already like this no no, no man nobody they do one i don't open niche i know say expression like videos no ever end funny enough you know say they like her the artist when they talk about you don't say they like this kind yes, of thing yes now of course i say make them no talk about me mom you know they, they make me they blow well <laughs> let me do like each sound as an artist, you just have to think of how you can promote and make your show. <laughs> One thing I can tell you as an artist is that, see, I myself, it sound, I always <laughs> hey, it sound. Guys, this way it sound get all those things done. People like bad news, eh? They like bad news too much. Just give them one bad news. I'm not saying anybody that like good news. <laughs> yeah, we they go. We won't go back to. I fold you, a boy. I fold, but boy, it sound. The European boy. Uh, uh, you know waiting at the talk for English. I go break all in teeth. I go come out your teeth now. My target for this is one million TikTok, one million Instagram, one million YouTube. It's not far fetched now. You are putting the work oh. Ah, oh my Miss Jim. makes it cool and nice guys you already know oh productions it's our producer another banger man you understand he's always throwing banger you don't say i don't know i'm out say he's a chinese man <laughs> now china they throw knockout Watch out. <laughs> so banger producer i've been getting a lot of comments from music artists because they say oh well production you always music producer every time it's not only music producer which music artists to one benefit from your wisdom or fountain or fountain of wisdom, fountain of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> as a music artist how can i effectively promote and market my music this is a very simple question and it requires a simple answer the best way to market your music in the current generation is using the internet as an avenue to promote easily now you have tiktok you have instagram Instagram, there's YouTube short. If you can be consistent in making content at least three times a week, you will get a lot of traction. You have mobile devices. So most people that are just starting off, they don't have much money to do ads and all that stuff. So the best way to market your music is making the content by yourself, becoming the influencer, the video director, the editor. Now for those that use their mobile devices, you can make videos using your mobile camera and then editing them on free apps like CapCut. If you don't have CapCut, you can use InShot. You can mm. dance to your tune, you can do open verses, you can create duet challenges. There's a lot you can do. The internet is immeasurable. My problem is procrastination and too much validation before putting it up. Basically, I'm not confident <laughs> enough. You understand? Yeah. Easy hack for procrastinators. Download this app called Google Keep. On your iPhones, if you're an iPhone user, you can use your iPhone notes. <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, you think of ideas to shoot. You outline them. You just type them down under your Google Keep or any of the applications. You can use Notion. Outline your goals for the day. If possible, outline your goals for the week and start approaching them one after the other. So that way now you feel attacked if you don't do anything in the list you feel like you've used less to your whole day any written goal becomes actionable you execute it because it's already there you blame yourself and procrastination happens because you feel there's no resources available which there's always resources stop complaining get up and go get it Go and get it. <laughs> How do I protect my intellectual property and copyright for my music? When you distribute your songs, most of these platforms put a content ID on your songs. Those content IDs tend to protect you, but it does not protect you fully. Each song has an ISRC code. These are generated when you upload the songs to streaming platforms. So it's like your own NAVDAC number for each song. If a song of yours is being uploaded without your consent, you can take this down because you have a proof that the song exists with that ISRC and UPC codes. But for you to get extra protection, some platforms offer extra locks. Let's say you are using a platform like DistroKid, they offer Distro Lock. You can lock the songs, maybe it's unreleased or it's still lagging on their phone and stuff. Make sure your songs have the ISRC codes and the UPC. That way you can take them down using DMCA. You can report the songs codes. using Spotify DMCA. You can use AudioMark DMCA, Apple Music. That's how you protect your songs. My problem is stage fright. I'm afraid of being on stage, communicating with the audience. For stage performance, I learned something from a great artist. Instead of looking deep into their eyes, you look at their heads and this person is big and he's been on global stages. This points back to value. Most people don't put value on themselves, so they become scared when the crowd is dead and silent. The best thing you can do is before the show or the performance, make sure you've seen the vision of how the performer is going to turn out. Look yourself in the mirror, perform the song multiple times. Yeah. Use your family as lab rats. Use your friends as performance tools. You can perform to them periodically in preparation for 
that day. That way you can just reduce your anxiety level. Then to make it much better, when it comes to performance, your first 30 performances are going to be a flop. I don't even understand. If you are still a starter, don't be scared. It's normal. A lot of people go through performance anxiety, but just look at their forehead. Don't look Not at their, their face. eyes. <laughs> yeah, they're going to intimidate you. Do hey, yeah. That their eyes. They will just demotivate yeah. you already. And if people know they jam the ginger because they perform, just know say they don't know your song, which means you guys double down on your content creation and marketing. They are simultaneous. And I think personally, performing your song is actually one of the best way to test your music. Yeah. Because the audience will actually give you instant feedback. feedback yes. Omo, is this music dope or not? You exactly, understand? Exactly. Exactly. The music artist saying that his problem is record label. So I don't know, like, he's waiting for record label to come and sign him nah. in his backyard or record, what? record labels are the least of your problems. Look, the way the world is shaped right now, independence is key. But if you get a record label, you might get what you need. Depends on the deal and agreement. If you are signing a 360 deal, you are giving them ownership of some mm. of your things for a particular time frame, which might lead to depression, anxiety, and a lot of mental problems. Hey! Jesus. But what I'll say is enjoy your independence. Use platforms like 1RPM, TuneCore, DistroKid, CD Baby. You need to upload and distribute these things so they can be under your catalog. That's what labels want. Now, distributing for a year is like $18. Highest, 30 cheap. So you don't even have a problem. Labels are not your problem. Your main problem is you. How serious are you? Because if label come for you, you know serious. Now you, they shoot yourself for leg. You have to wake up, distribute your songs, create some kind of fundraiser for yourself. You can tell your family members that they should mobilize money for you as in investment you want to do something you don't need much if you get that money you can build up if you have friends that believe in you they can loan you some money in exchange for royalties it's an easy way to mm. buy court labelship so yeah label is not a problem i want to ask me personally i'm a talented artist i'm very good people know me in my area they sing well but i want to take it to the next level is there a place for me to get funds so i can promote myself even though i'm trying i'm posting my freestyles my covers i'm doing all the things said in the book yeah. but i want to go to that next level and i think that i need funds to get there is there a place that i can go and loan money from that can finance my artistry the answer is no there is no place the only place you can get that kind of money is from a distributor a publisher or a record label those are like the three people that can give you that or a personal investor there are people that loan actually yeah. but now these people will take a huge percentage of your money you might have to be paying them for a couple years now the question is what if you borrow the money and you don't make it back? i'm ready for it what you do african people we are born great that's where you now hear people saying they get caught up their masters being held for 10 years 15 years instead of borrowing or collecting loan as an artist let me give you ways to make money go on tiktok live live stream your music and react with your fans you can get roses and badges being donated yeah. you can sell merchandise if your song's name is shoes you can make a few copies of merchandise with the shoe logo on top you can raise money with that then you can use the fundraiser method on social media where you tell them okay this song is coming out but first it will be on my website mm. then then they buy it for as low as 100 naira, 200. If you calculate that, right, it's thousand. Yes, direct. That's your money. Apple wow. is not taking that. Wow, sense. So that's like the third that one. makes sense. Exactly. You can decide to do a concert as small as 50 people ticket. You go find a venue, pay a couple people to do some little little stuff that is not going to cost you much. For instance, the prop set and designs, and like you get the venue people to give you a discount because people are coming. So if you put a price on it and you get 50 people to come, which can be your friends or people you go to church or you go to school with, you can make a couple money. That money now you can use every bit of it to promote your audio by doing the smaller things like buying a small piece of item to do giveaways to get traction it's just easy mathematics if you look at it sometimes some people around us don't even know that we are musicians because some people feel shy yeah to introduce themselves i'm an artist or i'm a music producer yeah so normal. when you get into a certain group like you feel like oh this one is uh, an engineer this guy is a uh, blue collar white collar job so you feel intimidated like the way they look at creative people like they are serious people yeah like, they don't get, uh, they're, they're like, life is useless now you understand so you now feel like to introduce yourself properly so that might be something that is affecting you don't know that maybe as an engineer but i still have passion for music i'm an executive in my company but i still want to fund a creative work yeah. so i will add that wherever you go wherever you meet always introduce yourself don't if there sure. are chances show them your music that's stand. how it works like market yourself any opportunity you get might not repeat itself twice again you see them market yourself show them your page show them your song get a private link put your songs inside send it to people don't tell them 
them with mouth. So don't say I'll play it through the speaker. Send them a private link so they can listen to it when they are less busy. One other thing is that what do you think, for example, like a video platform, an upcoming or fast rising artist, what do you think about them paying to perform on that platform? If there is a means, do it. If I was you, I would do it because that's a platform where millions and thousands of people will still watch. Even after the show, there's going to be a documented part of it that is going to be online. Yeah. So what if the Davido's show was sponsored by Apple Music? It's going to air on Apple Music. Imagine how many million users Apple Music has. So if you have the means, do it. But if you don't, don't force it. If you are good and your music is good, you'll get invitations. Straight up. A music artist asking. He said, as an artist, I need a mentor who is more knowledgeable than me in the industry. Do you need a mentor to succeed in the music industry? With the internet now, you don't need mentors. What you need is diligence in research. There are mentors everywhere on the internet, on YouTube. Oh, is a mentor. I'm a mentor. There are lots of people like Vesh and the rest that just teach people out of free will. So you don't need an actual mentor. Mentorship is good. If you get a mentor, do it. If you can pay them, do it. But I'm just saying, don't put yourself in harm's way because you want to get a mentor by mentor. course. There's YouTube. YouTube is the greatest mentor. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of music artists, especially in Nigeria, they do not have the fundamental of the music business. You understand? Yeah. Because I've seen a lot of comments about music business, music business. What would you advise them at least to go and get the fundamental fundamental from that sort of like ABCD you know that's step one for them to take in understanding the music business voila yes. grab my book the artist heaven it's on pre-order for the fundamentals of music artist heaven got you covered it has everything you will be needing and apart from artist heaven I can recommend you use Google to your full potential it's a search engine you can use chat GPT you can use YouTube I always say YouTube because YouTube is free you don't pay anything but this oh, is free. absolutely not free it's going to come at a very easy easy price where you can get it without stress but if you need more knowledge about music business the best place you can research about that is on youtube and google those ones are absolutely reachable and free i want to ask as a creative how do you manage your mental health uh, ha, ha. mental health is a very tricky thing for me right what i say about mental health is if you are a creative a lot is going to be happening in your life you are going to be thinking about how to get money you'll be thinking about family issues you'll be thinking about your environment you'll be thinking about school mostly school is the biggest because most of the artists are young people that are trying to get into educational pursuit. So for mental health reasons, I would say don't be pressured by what you see on social media. It's okay to detox. There's what we call social detox. If you start feeling the pressure that you're not doing better than somebody, channel your energy into creating and learning instead of looking at people's lifestyle. It's okay mm. to take some time off the internet because what causes 90% of depression is internet. You wake up now, you see your guy <laughs> by Range Rover. Your heart goes start the But beat. again, I, I discussed with you earlier on, yeah. I have a fear too of taking a time off. I feel like I'm not going to gain the traction I'm no. getting before because the social media or Instagram or TikTok they are going to punish me for not posting consistently but again. We, we are talking about mental health here. So it's more bigger than that. It's better you take some time off than to follow the algorithm and die. A lot of people do crazy stuff just because of popularity. Exactly. They so don't care about They don't care about all that <laughs> stuff and that's why they don't have longevity. How I battle with mental health problems sometimes is if I see what I'm doing is not going the right way I try new things. So some people have different coping mechanisms. If you are somebody that you are very emotional it's okay to take some time off because the more you see the more depressed you get the more anxious you get so but if you are somebody that is strong like us mm. if you like <laughs> throw bomb for our backyard we'll go shoot content <laughs> our copy mechanism a lot of negative activity. comments exactly <laughs> somebody will come and say you'll be mumu you'll be mumu you call other people mumu and sometimes you know like this thing we create it with our heart so yeah when you create a nice song and stuff like that somebody will say which kind of nonsense this one is how will you feel <laughs> no 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 the, the thing is just no I would say the only way to battle mental health issues in the industry is by becoming conversant with what happens in the industry. The more you know, the less you worry. Just keep staying consistent. The longer you stay inside the industry, the more focus you get. And so, there is a line between where the passion ends and where the business starts as well. Straight up. it can really be kind of like challenging because you are creating this music because you love it. Yeah. Then the business aspect comes to it. Now you are trying to create what you love, still want to monetize your talent. <laughs> exactly. So that thing as well can really mess you up yeah, as a creative. Because you want to create from your heart. And again, I want to ask this. A lot of music artists now, they are really just creating based on what is trending. What would you say about, oh, me, I love to create something like Afro jazz or why must I create Ama piano? Should I just maintain my own style? What I love doing, the stories I like to share with the world? Or should I just create something trend? 
so that I can have that transfer. People will know me. And what do you think? There's something we call niche specific content. Every product has a particular niche. You can't say because you eat a wedu, everybody eats a wedu. Mm -hmm. But there are people that love a wedu. But a lot of people love a wedu. Exactly. Now, that exactly. Good, so imagine now, like you're an Afrobeat artist and you're in an environment where trap trends. Mm -hmm, yeah. The best thing to do is, I would say for exposure purpose, try and blend the two. You Whoa. cannot be one sided. Oh. You, know, yeah. you have to blend the two. Because <laughs> if you go and sideline yourself and say you want to be the only Afrobeat artist among trap people, right? What's, what is going to do? It's going to dock your growth. It might happen eventually, but it will take longer you time. You're on the queue. But you know, you are doing this as a business person. You need money. You need to feed. Exactly. So you need to consider a lot of factors. We producers, exactly. sometimes we have genres we don't like, but we learn it. In case a customer comes, <laughs> we'll be able to defend. So, I mean, you can do one leg in, one leg out. But here's what I have to say. A lot of artists that have persistent spirit, like they are very consistent with one thing, it will pay off. So if you're not feeling free, like you don't feel like to do trap in a place where everybody does trap and you're an Afrobeat artist, mm -hmm. network, internet is there. Focus on finding a geographical location where they respect your craft and network with people that do what you do. Easy. I'll ask one final question. Okay. What is one of the biggest challenges you had recently and how did you solve them? What lessons did you learn from it? Because you know, I see Sam now. They talk every day. That is this. That is this. You don't know that he has problems. Yeah, so. Uh -huh. So, can you share it? Alright. I was based in a city where I wasn't really respected and my services were not needed mostly. So, I had to just make use of the internet to gain exposure. Then, move away from the environment that wasn't favoring me to an environment where I was being respected and felt welcome. So, environment might be a problem but the thing you can do is just stay put to making money and getting an online presence raising followers raising people that can support you in case you make a big move then another problem I've like experienced is I felt that the things I had were not qualitative enough so I can say this camera is not as clear as this person's own up to now it still happens but your power to say no to it and use what you have is what's going to make you different another problem I had was finances hey. I have big dreams big hey, plans <laughs> but when it comes to executing money you just decide Hi. For you to make more money, you have to be resourceful, which takes us back to the second point when I was doing comparison and not using what I had. If you have small laptop, think of ways to maximize the small laptop. Straight up. To make money to buy a bigger laptop. Mm. Use what you get. Upgrade. Upgrade is necessary. So every time you make new money, you upgrade yourself. If you want to change your environment, you can. Money solves all the problems. Problem. So yeah. Let that's money let the problem money go. Money let the problem go. Will you say that Lagos is the place to have the opportunity to blow as a music creator? Yeah, Lagos is a place. It's the central hub of music. But I'm not going to say that Lagos is the final destination. <laughs> there are other places. Though. But if you are watching this video and you are looking forward to moving to a place like Lagos, you should consider it because there is a lot that happens here. The industry is here. Most of the connect is here. I will a little bit add to that that okay. even though you have the, the ability to connect with a lot of people on the internet, I think there is a physical aspect of it yeah, to yeah. touch. Because when we do a lot of things on the internet, when we see physically, there is a different Friend vibe, yeah, where they to have you understand? Connection. So, Richie. so once, once, once in a while, if you did, you may step inside, out, find new people, and then move out. You already Easy. know. Another banger from me, sound producer. Oh, no, I don't hear word, I don't hear talk. You already yeah, know. So, oh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, hit sound producer, OTA. and subscribe to OY because OTA production. this OTA. man is doing a lot for you guys OTA. that you, you will get to know learn later. So, yeah. appreciate, man. Thanks a lot. You already know. Take <laughs> it away until the next time. <laughs> Why makes it cool and nice?